just left with small business owners and leaders and we were talking about doing hard stuff and I haven't read it yet but I have it in my queue this the the book the comfort crisis and one of the things that he talks about I watched a YouTube video uh, where the the author was interviewed and I think he said every year you should do something that you've got a 50% chance at failing at just to just to keep yourself in tune with doing hard things and doing things that you might fail at, right? And so I think there's there's two pieces that are really interesting to me this morning. Is like number one is doing hard things personally, professionally. What's an area, Jerry, that you um, would benefit from doing hard things? Like what's what's an area in your personal life? What's an area in your professional life that it would really benefit me to lean into doing hard things? And then maybe one out there, it's like what's something that I've got a 50% chance at failing at. And it might be something water skiing or something that you know I haven't done in 40 years or something ridiculous, right? So something that was like, gosh, that would be super embarrassing uh, to fail at that, and I'm likely to fail at it. And anyway, it'll be interesting to read this book, but the idea of like doing something with whatever rhythm where you're, you're, you've got a 50-50 chance of failing at, right? So that, that's the other piece. Doing hard things, that's fascinating to me you know, identifying things in my personal life, professional life that are hard for me to do, that lean into to build some mental toughness and also looking at, at something maybe ab- something unique, abstract that um, I could look at and be like, all right, I got a 50% chance at, at failing at this, but I'm going to, I'm going to go do it because of the benefits. And I don't know, cause I haven't read the book yet, all the benefits that come with risking failure. As we get older, I'm 56, you don't risk failure much, right? Which is in a lot of ways, that's a good thing, but there's also uh, obviously some, um, you know, some bad things to that as well. So I will be exploring that.